Chapter 349 Master Shua Ayu's Resentment The first day of the hundred challenges had ended. There were at least ten who had achieved successive wins, but the best out of them had only obtained three in a row. Most were like Zhang Chen, having reached two wins in a row. Zhang Chen had voluntarily stopped, which left his scores slightly unimpressive at the moment, but also placed him solidly in the top ten. He adjusted his strategy and even purposefully reined in his strength in the afternoon match, leaving many red herrings in the ring of gravity, but even so, he'd been unable to shake off Master Shua Ayu's attentions. Master Shu Ayu usually had nothing to do with secular disciples, but she'd formed some prejudices against the Mystic Quadrant Champion after hearing of Goren's matter. This fellow's enmity towards the Purple Sun Sect had been apparent in the Ring of Fire today. Although Wang Jian wasn't one of her disciples, she didn't want to see a Purple Sun Sect disciple being killed by someone else in the Ring, so she'd interfered despite her identity as the Keeper of this Quadrant. Master Shu Ayu's personality had always been domineering, and she was renowned amongst the four sects as someone without the slightest hint of womanly virtues. Her name was that of someone who'd cast off all earthly shackles but her temper was more fiery than any ordinary person's. Her arrogance had been further reinforced now that she accepted a genius disciple with an innate constitution. Zhang Chen had been born of the ordinary world and had dared publicly question her authority in the ring. Although his tone hadn't been to the point of being openly hostile, it was already an enormous transgression in Master Shu Ayu's eyes. She called up the images of today's matches after returning to the examiner's area. Master Shu Ayu felt that there was something amiss in the match between Zhang Chen and Duang Jian. She'd be watching on the sidelines, but hadn't been part of the action and thus had no idea what had actually happened in the ring. However, even after watching the playback in the pricey recording gems, Master Shu Ayu still came up empty-handed. Wu Ang Jian isn't a mediocre talent. His ranking as first level and number 23 of all candidates in the Earth Quadrant are well deserved, thanks to his talents and cultivation. What does he rely on? He leverages his talents of fire and that raging tide of flames, and 16 blows of the raging python of flames. However, his two trump cards seem to have been useless against this secular swine. Master Shu Ayu studied the images. She wanted to know, just what had happened? Why had the raging tide of flame ceased to continue when they reached three meters from the secular candidate? Why had all the angry flames suddenly disappeared when the fellow flourished his sleeve? It wasn't that Master Shu Ayu was unable to do the same. She had a natural affinity for water and she could enclose a thousand Lian ice with one move. She could easily destroy Ang Jian's raging flame of tides. But, what level was she at? She was a boss in the Sky Spirit Realm, and only a step away from the peak of the Sky Spirit Realm and one of the nine heavyweights of the Purple Sun Sect. It was easy for her strength to destroy Ang Jian. But could a secular candidate be mentioned in the same breath as her? Master Shu Ayu looked at the images a few more times, and a look of deep contemplation appeared on her still lovely face. This secular swine is arrogant and intractable, and possesses great enmity towards my purple sun sect. If we cannot subdue him, we absolutely cannot allow the other sects to have him. Otherwise, he'll become a great scourge for our sect in the future. Master Shu Ayu was a decisive person. Many ways to resolve the situation had already appeared in her mind when she examined the problem. However, she still decided to first obtain Forefather Sun Chaser's thoughts. According to the rules, the four forefathers weren't allowed within the four quadrants. Therefore, Sun Chaser and the others weren't located in the Eternal Spirit Mountain. Elsewhere, Sun Chaser suddenly snatched out with his hand. A message glyph landed in his palm. It sparkled like a firefly for a moment as Master Shu Ayu's features appeared in his hand. Forefather, a secular genius has appeared in the Earth Quadrant. He's the champion of the first selection. This person has bad relations with our Purple Sun sect. Please advise on our course of action. This glyph was quite marvelous. It disappeared when Sun Chaser closed his hand. That freak genius with the boulder's heart again? Sun Chaser murmured to himself. Although the other three old freaks say that the disappearance of the magnetic golden mountain has absolutely nothing to do with him, why does my intuition keep telling me that the mountain's disappearance has much to do with him? I was anxious the day I'd asked him a few questions. It looks like although he submitted on the surface, he still held a grudge. Otherwise, why else would he still act with such enmity against my purple sun sect disciples? To be honest, Sun Chaser had held some expectations for the champion of the first selection. After all, his results had indeed been stunning. Even if the best amongst the four sects had participated, they might not have gotten the same results either. However, Admiration was one thing, it didn't mean that Sun Chaser would unconditionally cater to a mere secular disciple. Contending with my sect? Interesting. A vicious streak flashed through Sun Chaser's face. A secular disciple lacks shrewdness in the end and can't hide their thoughts. How easy would it be to emerge from the masses in this selection? Progress will be difficult after offending my purple sun sect. Let's roughen him up a bit. If he really is a worthy talent, I naturally have my methods to lure him into my purple sun sect. If he's just an overweeningly arrogant character and makes it out of the earth quadrant, there will naturally be countless geniuses who will kill him in the sky quadrant. When Sun Chaser's thoughts traveled here, he made some gestures with his fingers and sent out a message floating through the air in the direction of the Earth Spirit Quadrant. A spot of light landed in Master Shu Ayu's hands. Allow him free reign for now, there's no need to suppress him. Recruit him if he can be tamed. If not, there are countless geniuses in the sky quadrant who will take care of him. You are an examiner, there's not need to overly interfere. There was a tone of warning in Sun Chaser's message. It was obvious that he knew of Shu Ayu's temperament and knew that she often acted on emotions and easily destroyed plans. If she incited public anger and was censured by the other three sects, she would lose a great deal of face if she was unceremoniously switched out. Light danced in Master Shua Ayu's eyes when she received Forefather Sun Chaser's decree. She finally sighed a deep sigh. The Forefather's decree cannot be ignored. 
Can it be that I must watch this kid strut around in front of me over the next three months? Master Shua Ayu didn't dare go against Forefather Sun Chaser's decree, but in the depths of her heart, she still didn't wish to accept a secular disciple preening in front of her. Even though Zhang Chen's behavior was far from arrogant, the prejudiced Master Shu Ayu still found him swollen with arrogance and was irritated by the very sight of him. When did such an abnormal factor arise in the secular disciple's sixteen kingdoms? This child gives me an instinctive feeling of rejection and disgust. With my level of cultivation, I wouldn't randomly form these thoughts. Can it be that his identity truly is suspicious? The thought that made Master Shu Ayu the most uneasy flashed through her mind again. Zhang Chen was the one with the greatest reputation amongst the sixteen kingdom secular disciples before the great selection. Can he truly be Zhang Chen? Master Shu Ayu had always had this speculation that hadn't been able to be verified. If it really is Zhang Chen, then I am confident I can convince the forefather to change his strategy. However, this evidence will be difficult to obtain. The forefather obviously still has hopes to tame this child. But if it's really Zhang Chen, he's destined to be at odds with our sect. If I can find evidence that he is Zhang Chen, I will surely be able to make the forefather retract his thoughts. A hint of a cold smile leaked out from the corners of Master Shu Ai's lips. Zhang Chen, freak genius of the boulder's heart. You better not be the same person. If you are, the four areas of the selection are destined to become your resting place. Master Shu Ai recalled the news that Chu Zinan had brought back to the sect that day. The second ranked disciple beneath her, Chu Zinan, had brought back Long Juxu from the second passing in the Eastern Kingdom, and had also brought back the news that a mysterious man had saved Zhang Chen. The mysterious man had also said clearly that if the Purple Sun sect sent more people after Zhang Chen, he would personally demand an explanation from the sect. He also said that Zhang Chen and Long Juxu should settle their grievances themselves. This problem had always been disturbing Master Shu Ai This was also the reason why she hadn't sent her disciples to pursue and kill Zhang Chen. It wasn't that she'd been scared by the threat, but that she felt that with Long Juxu's talents, it'd be as easy as killing a dog to get rid of Zhang Chen when she grew into her own. Therefore, she'd thought that there was nothing bad about letting Long Juxu handle the matter herself. Even Chu Zingan had felt that this mysterious man was fathomless. His cultivation level is surely not less than mine. Zhang Chen then went to the Sky Oral Kingdom and stirred up quite a ruckus there. In this regard, the person who threatened Chu Zingan might have been Yi Chonglu, spirit king protector of the Sky Oral Kingdom. Some traces of fear appeared on Master Shu Ayu's face when she thought of Yi Chonglu's name. As arrogant as she was, Master Shu Ayu knew that there was still a gap between her strength and Yi Chonglu's. She just set foot into the ninth level spirit realm and touched the peak of the sky spirit realm. There were still many who could defeat her at this level. However, although Yi Chonglu was also the peak of the sky spirit realm, he was the publicly acclaimed spirit king. Ordinarily speaking, there were none within the same realm who could defeat those awarded with this title, or even come close to their level of cultivation. Therefore, although a spirit king was the peak of the sky spirit realm and hadn't set foot into the origin realm, he was someone that no ordinary peak of the sky spirit realm could measure up to. A spirit king was an invincible existence and one that could vaguely feel the door frame to the origin realm. One was only a half step away from the next realm. As cocky as Master Shu Ayu was, she too felt a headache when thinking of Yi Chonglu and wasn't willing to offend him. In my opinion, the person who threatened Chu Zingan was likely Yi Chonglu. If he was the one, he does actually have the right to say such words. Humphrey, the great selection is an event being held by all four sects. What can he do? Blazer without eyes, and blows without mercy in the selection. No one can find fault if a secular disciple loses his life. Even if he wants to start something after the selection, can he be more domineering than Forefather Sun Chaser? As strong as a spirit king was, that was still within the radius of the spirit realm. In the eyes of the Four Origin Realm Forefathers, a spirit king was just a spirit realm cultivator, in the end a completely different level from them. Master Shu Ai's mind was full of random thoughts. She intuitively felt that the freak genius of the boulder's heart was possibly Zhang Chen, but she had no way of convincing the Forefather without tangible evidence.